Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for what feels like so long now, for several months. It is about to be May and the last time I posted was in December and I have so much to share with you guys. I end up taking quite an unexpected break from YouTube. Obviously, I've said before that like my personal life is going to come first before YouTube. I've always used YouTube as just kind of like just kind of like a kind of a kind of like a ministry to me. So YouTube was definitely something that was put on my heart and I really really enjoyed it and it's not something I plan on stopping. I plan on continuing with it, but life just kind of happened and I needed to take a very well needed break. So the last time I talked to you guys was in December. We had that mold problem in our closet that kind of like spread down to the hallway and we took care of that. I actually started vlogging um, more in December and I really wanted to share with you guys like stuff that I did. I wanted to share more about what I did for Christmas and how I spent the last few days of December, but I never got around to editing that footage because I started to feel super sick, nauseous, and just extremely tired. And I was really confused because they were very similar symptoms to when we had the mold issue and we'd taken care of the mold problem. So I was like, why am I continuing to feel sick? January 10th was I went and took a pregnancy test and it came back positive. So yes, I am pregnant. That is why I've been gone for so long. Pregnancy has been pretty rough on me. Um, been feeling very sick and tired and I was just kind of like in survival mode and it was, it was really rough, especially for that first bit when I didn't know I was pregnant and I was just like, why do I feel this way? And not, and I don't want to say like I was neglecting my responsibilities, but like stuff just wasn't getting done because I was just feeling this way. And like for me, I was just so confused. And to my husband, he was just like not understanding what was going on with me, but it was just kind of a rough time. And then once I found out I was pregnant, things started to make more sense. And a few weeks after that, I started to feel good and I actually went and filmed another video, a sit down video. I, I didn't mention in that video I was pregnant, but I was feeling pretty good a few weeks after I found out I was pregnant. And then like the first trimester, like morning sickness really hit me hard. <laughs> and I am just now like truly getting over it for about a good month or a month and a half. I was just down like I was nauseous from sun up to sundown. I honestly could not do anything. I just withered away on our couch or on my bedroom bed. And I didn't throw up too much. I probably puked about every two days, like once a day. It wasn't a lot of puking, but I was just very sick. It was, it was awful. I was very <laughs> miserable and I thought it was never gonna end. It felt like, such a long time. Once I got into my second trimester, I started to feel better. I would still get nauseous sometimes. Like it was just kind of out of the blue and random. Like I just have, I would just be having a really good day and then bam, like nausea will hit me and I am just down. I cannot do anything until the nausea is gone. And it usually wasn't until like the next day. And even napping, like nothing, nothing fixed it. I drank a lot of peppermint tea, which really did help a good bit, but it never like fully took it away. I am 19 weeks. Today is Monday. This Friday, I'm going to be 20 weeks. We're going to have the 20 week anatomy scan next Monday. So exactly a week from now. And I am so excited. <sighs> I just, I can't believe that I'm pregnant. We do already know the gender. We actually found out pretty early on. I think we found out around 10 weeks. We did the genetic testing and only because our insurance covered it and we didn't do it because like, oh, we wanna find out what type of like 
genetic stuff our baby could have we did it because we wanted to find out the gender and we did not want to wait until 20 weeks so i don't think i'm going to share it in this video probably the next one yes we do already know the gender it's so sweet we already have a name my due date is september 15th and it's changed like a few times so it's kind of hard to stay on top of the dates i'll show you guys some pictures maybe i can like put them here um but that was just kind of like the big thing that's been going on. And throughout all of this, our house still has like such a strong musty smell. It's so upsetting, you guys, because we got rid of the mold. We, we like took out the drywall and everything. It smelled musty at first, but like the longer it stayed in the closet, like the stronger the smell got to where it smelled like live mold was growing on it but there wasn't it's just like that's just how strong it was getting so emptied out our entire closet that of course just kind of caused our house to be like chaotic because i put all of like our clothes on our on our bed in our bedroom and then our bedroom was just kind of like a mess everything that was in our closet was out in our bedroom and so we couldn't use our bedroom and so we were like sleeping in the living room for the past month or so and it and we've been trying to resolve this issue for what feels like forever now i'm so ready to be done with it we found this mold spray we sprayed it all over the room and then repainted it my mom painted our entire closet for us with like the killed kills mold primer thing and we'll see how that goes because that's kind of the state that it's in right now we've not put our clothes back in there actually my mom took all of our clothes and is like washing it at her house because she has a really big washer and dryer and our house has just kind of been in shambles since then and she's just been trying to help me out since I'm pregnant and like I couldn't paint and like inhale the fumes and we have a lot of clothes and it was just like so stressful and overwhelming and when you're pregnant you want to be like as non-stressed as you can be not overwhelmed at all just like a really good healthy happy place for your baby to like grow in so she's been such a blessing I honestly have like the best mom ever and I'm so so thankful for her so that's kind of like what's been also going on and and we have three dogs you guys and we love our three dogs so 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 much like they're so precious to us. None of our dogs get along now. They're all neutered, but yeah. So it's just not going to work out. We've had to keep all three of them separated. It is so much work. I can't just like bring our dogs outside. No, we don't have like a fenced in yard. So we are not allowed to bring them outside until our yard is fully fenced, which we've not been able to get to because Jacob's been so busy tending to me because I was so sick um, for such a long time and our house was just like falling apart. There's a lot going on, you guys. Like I'm sharing a lot, but there's also just so much more that's going on that like if I were to get into it, I feel like it would just be too much. It's a lot of work. So we are in the process of finding two of them new homes. We're going to keep one of them because one of them will be good with kids as far as we know like he's never been around kids but he doesn't like you know we trust him as as far as we can tell so that's kind of like our big thing is we want to make sure that they're going to be good around our baby and good you know in the future as they get older and as, and as we have more kids and that's just not going to work out with all three of them um so it's very very sad it's a lot and it's very heartbreaking because obviously I'm very much attached to our dogs. We love our dogs so much, but we have to remember what's best for our baby and remember that, you know, human life before dogs and it's not like we're putting them down. We're going to find them a good home, but it's just still so heartbreaking to have to part ways because we've just been together for so long. I can't talk about it anymore or else I will cry because it's, it's very sad and it's a lot. So that's kind of also the other thing that's been going on. I have kind of a long life update. I don't really know who's even going to stay on here this long to hear about this. But just wanted to share, wanted to check in. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing next from me. 
Let me know if you're even interested in still seeing that sit down video that I recorded months ago. I think it was like um, something about like how to be a good homemaker. I can't exactly remember, but I was, I, I had started editing it, but I stopped because I almost felt like a fraud because there was so much stuff in that video that I mentioned that I wasn't currently doing because I was so sick. I was being too hard on myself because obviously there's going to be seasons in life where that just, you just can't get to everything. Obviously when you're nauseous, sick all day long, that's just how it is. Nothing you can do about it um, when you're pregnant. So let me know if you guys are interested in me still uploading that video. Just let me know if you guys like want to see a vlog or another sit down video. If you want to know more about my pregnancy so far, like more details into that, how we are approaching things, um, all of that stuff. Cause I'd be more than happy to share. I just don't know if you guys would even be interested in hearing about that. And also thank you so much for all of my new followers. I, I have over a thousand subscribers now, which is so crazy to me. It It's like, it's kind of exciting. I didn't think there would be that many people that'd be interested in this, in similar topics as I am, as far as like biblical femininity and just like trying to be a like feminine Christian and like following what the Bible says, like, especially with how our world is right now, there's so much going on that is just like against the Christian faith. So yeah, it's very exciting. Thank you so much for sticking around and for all of my new followers. Let me know what you guys want to see next from me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.